Here's how to add a VST software instrument in Cubase. In Cubase, with your project open, first, click on Project. Scroll to Add Track and select Instrument. The Add Instrument dialog box will appear. Now, where it currently says No VST Instrument, click and select the instrument you would like to load. I'm going to use Native Instruments FM8. I'll select my VST instrument, and after I've chosen how many instances I would like to create, I'll just stick with one. I'm going to hit OK. Now, FM8 has been added as a VST instrument to my Cubase project. Now, if I would like to use the graphical user interface for the instrument that I've just loaded, I need to click on the Edit Instrument icon here in the Track Inspector. When I click on that, the instrument's graphic user interface will appear, and I can make edits to this instrument and also play and record MIDI into my Cubase project. You can also add VST instruments via the VST Instruments dialog box. To access that, click on Devices and select VST Instruments. The VST Instruments dialog box will open up. Here, by clicking in an empty slot, you can choose an instrument that you would like to load. I will use ToonTrack's Easy Drummer plugin. I'll click on Easy Drummer and Cubase will ask me if I would like to create a MIDI track assigned to the plugin. Typically, you'll want to go ahead and create a MIDI track. In some cases, you may just want to create the VST instrument and later route it into different MIDI tracks in Cubase. However, for my purposes, and for most purposes of everyday recording at home, you're probably going to want to go ahead and create a MIDI track. I'll click Create, and the Easy Drummer interface will open up. And now, I can make edits to Easy Drummer, and also, of course, record and playback MIDI in my Cubase project. You'll also notice that a MIDI track has been created for Easy Drummer in my edit window. Now, if I would like to access the Easy Drummer interface again, all I need to do is click on the Edit Instrument icon, and the graphic user interface for my plugin will appear.